Hello, Willow Davis, how's it going? Uh, full disclosure, if I end up using Amberlynn in like the thumbnail or title, it's, it's kinda clickbait, but you'll see how it'll all tie in as we go. The current state of things in the world right now uh, it may seem shaky. I think people's anxiety is is fairly high right now for various reasons. Uh, just a lot of negativity. It's hard to... I don't want to look at the trending on Twitter. I don't want to look on Reddit, although Reddit kind of sucks now anyway. But anyway... Uh, you know, just, I don't want to watch the news or anything. It's just all just downer stuff. Um, and of course it's important to discuss things, current events and all that, but there's a time and a place for it. And when it's not all serious dealing with the issues, people like an escape. And I've been thinking a lot about Animal Crossing lately, and not just because of the recent trailers and stuff and how it's coming out in three months and like a couple weeks. The new one, if you don't know, Animal Crossing is, it's kind of like a life simulation game. Basically, you are a person, you, you're you, I guess. Um, <laughs> you're just the person, the villager. You're moving to a new town and it's inhabited by these animal people of various kinds and they are your neighbors now and you basically just go about your life um pay off your mortgage do some work sell some things make some friends uh community service fix up the town as you see fit or you could like destroy it if you want to um but that's not nice I have played every main series Animal Crossing game. I have every single one, as funny as it is, all the way back to GameCube was the original one. In the US, I know there's like like one like Animal Forest or whatever in Japan. So I have just always just been uh, enamored by Animal Crossing and its whole vibe from the very beginning when I was a child. And it's just very, it's a very chill game. There's not a whole lot of like, stressful things in it so it has uh widely been used by people just as a way to like de-stress and you know what i think that's something that we all could use right now as i've said it is important to like deal with issues in life of course but there's no point in stressing 24 7 over things and that's where that's where gaming comes in, you know? A lot of people, it's just a, a hobby, an activity, recreation, something to unwind. And I think the creators of Animal Crossing are very aware of this, and they try to just make a game that brings that to its maximum level. See, what sets Animal Crossing apart is the, the daily schedule of things. You need to check in every day to your town and do little things you want to do because there's only like so many things you can do in the game in a day until you're kind of just waiting for things to reset tomorrow you know more things to find explore you know different events going on in your town holidays and whatnot and this is not in the same way that like mobile games are where it's like you can't do anything they put like a paywall like oh you can wait till tomorrow in this i hate these like free to play games where it's just like oh you could uh continue if you put in a certain amount of real world money and can keep going or you could just wait till tomorrow when this egg is done hatching or whatever i hate that i hate mobile games other than like some card games if <laughs> there there now that there's a portable console the nintendo switch there's truly like no reason for these stupid stupid phone games that just want your money long after you've actually downloaded the game. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Pocket Camp. Animal Crossing made a phone game, and it was like cool at first, chill, but like they really started pushing the the pay to make everything better thing, 
and I, I'm just so so we're just gonna pretend that all the Nintendo <laughs> mobile games don't exist, the phone games, because that that's just really annoying. But no, the main series Animal Crossing games are not like that. It's you pay for the game and that's it. And you could like cheat if you want to by just like changing the clock, but uh, it is truly not quite as satisfying as an experience. You'll quickly get tired of it. There's something really nice about the dependency that people have on, well not, the, the dependency that the animals in your town have on you and the town in general. And they do a really good job of not stressing the player out by like making them responsible for everything. Like if you skip a day in Animal Crossing, you know, they'll forgive you. There's a couple of slight inconveniences, but it's only motivation to just clean things up again. And that's like what I think really helps people. I've seen on YouTube lots of people talking about how Animal Crossing helps deal with stress, other problems that people have, anxiety, depression, because it kind of forces you into a schedule, but it's not just like, oh, it's not the same thing as like get up and, and go to work in the morning. It's, it's a schedule that you're looking forward to, to maintain your town and just make everything nice. You know, a, a sense of stability that you may not have in the real world. But it's just something to look forward to. You know, I know a lot of people, if they're playing Animal Crossing, they'll kind of check in at the same time about every day. You know, maybe it's on a lunch break or after school or something. Or in the morning, they have some extra time. And they just kind of check up on things in their Animal Crossing town. And, you know, you could, you could, you could go in for a couple minutes and just do some of the basic daily things. Or you could really uh, make sure you do everything possible in that day if you got some extra time one day to play some games but it's it's that daily routine that really kind of gets people invested and you know can help bring some people out of some darker thoughts because like it's just nice to every day have something to look forward to to maintain it's kind of like how some people find comfort from their pets, you know, uh, some something that needs you to go about its life, except with Animal Crossing, you know, there's no high risks. Uh, they're very forgiving. Even if you go, like, weeks and weeks abandoning your Animal Crossing town, uh, things, things get bad there, like some weeds grow and some people might have moved away out of frustration, but... Uh, it's it's nothing that you can't start to fix on on the first day back with like a good amount of hard work into the town. Uh, I mean the people the the people the people move out. That's that's you know if you cared about the animals in your town that much, uh, you'd probably be upset that they moved away. But they do kind of give you a fair warning, uh, and that's that's pretty much the biggest problem that can happen so like it it's, it's really not too stressful of a game you know if you actually are invested in it at all then you can pretty much control everything going on in your town and so that's another like motivation to keep things in order it brings order to your life if you may not have it and that's why it's like such a good escape if you're someone who has like no routine or schedule in their day-to-day -day life like you just feel like you're kind of floating around even if you are going to like work every day i know it's you know you can kind of lose touch with other things hey amberlin am i right uh it's like it's it's nice to just like oh you know what i gotta and it's another thing too is that you kind of have to check in at like a certain time in the day in Animal Crossing. If it, it like, you know, cause the stores will be open at certain times or whatever, or you want to check in at a certain time. And if it's really like you have a weird schedule with work or something, you can always just have your Animal Crossing clock set like whatever amount of hours off from actual time if you really need it. 
so it's not that big of a deal. And in the later games, um, they kind of have little features where you can, like, scoot things over a little bit. The schedules, like, there's, like, a night owl feature for uh, the latest game for 3DS, Animal Crossing New Leaf. You can, like, have the stores be open later if it works better with your schedule. So that's kind of cool. And on top of that, I've been lightly reading up on some of the key principles of Buddhism lately. And, you know, some of it can relate to Animal Crossing in a weird way. Like, to not want something to the point of suffering, to just find contentment in uh, the present, you know? Obviously, oh, I want to fill out all of the stuff in the museum with all the different types of bugs and fish and fossils and stuff, but it's not to the point hopefully that you're willing to like just like manipulate the game and just like get everything in one day or whatever by cheating because that would not be very lit but it just brings up another point of just avoiding suffering in various ways such like if you're suffering through anxiety and stress and worry about some current events but there's nothing that you can truly do about it in this moment as the individual. Although I'll say, um, consider donating to the Australian Red Cross. If anyone has any other reputable uh, places to donate, that would be good. There's a lot of trouble going on in Australia right now with wildfires. But yeah, Animal Crossing, it just like brings a sense of contentment and satisfaction that's like just enough that it's not something that is like such a hardcore desire that it is um bothering you or causing any suffering you know it's the contentment of having completed your tasks for the day you know you have some free time unwind with some animal crossing you find all the little fossils underground you check in with all your neighbors sell some of the things that grew uh in the past day you know, and then you can, as and you get to the point where you're like, okay, I have done enough for the day in Animal Crossing. Or the, every, the town appears to be in order, and you can end that and get on with the rest of your real life day with the satisfaction that that is another step completed. You know what I mean? I haven't checked in on my Animal Crossing town in quite a while, but... I am very much looking forward to New Horizons, the one coming out for Switch on March 20th, I believe. Uh, I could go bringing my 3DS around, but uh, out of convenience I haven't. I've, I've been seeking comfort in uh, playing Skyrim, Luigi's Mansion, Oblivion that I've been doing a Let's Play of on YouTube. You should check that out. I am pretending that Eric Cook is a mage, Breton, and uh, trying to join the Arcane University. So if you've heard of Animal Crossing, and or at least seen uh, just a bunch of stuff about it and wondered what all the hype is about, I, I hope this uh, helps explain some of that to you. Animal Crossing is a unique game in a lot of ways. I've heard that Animal Crossing has a like fan base, I guess you'd call it, uh, that is an basically equal part male to female, which is is rare because usually um, men tend to dominate the gaming stuff. <laughs> like just just more often. Obviously, I'm not saying game girls can't play video games or anything like that. It's just you know, statistic wise, more men seem to play video games. But it is obvious that Animal Crossing has a nice casual chill welcoming vibe that everyone can enjoy of all ages you may have seen floating around there's a video it probably has like tens of millions of views by now of like an 85 year old grandma spectacular animal crossing town on her ds it must be nice and also i've obviously I, I listen to some animal crossing music from time to time i put it into my videos from time to time and if you go into the comments of those uh, like the videos on YouTube that have compilations of the music and stuff, people are like, oh, it takes me back to better times. Like uh, what I wouldn't give to, to go back to the time when I was like playing this game and whatever. And you can go back. 
you can go back at any time. I don't like. I understand the the nostalgia trip, and for most video games, it's like, oh, I wish I had the time to just jump into this again, like I used to when I was a kid. But Animal Cross, I don't know why people say it with Animal Crossing. You could jump in wherever you need. It's there for you, you know. And so that's that's why I'm really looking forward to this new one because I carry my Switch around pretty much everywhere anyway. In either its case or sometimes a backpack that has like my dock and all my controllers in it anyway um, and hey if you felt like you were in that boat if you have a, an old copy of one of the Animal Crossing you can start it up no one no one's gonna you know be pissed if you're spending like an hour a day to yourself to you know check up on your town I mean the portable ones are really where uh, where it shines because you can really just take it anywhere that's why I got that. I got that Animal Crossing 3DS XL over there. I'm looking at it right now. I see you. So that's what I got. It's okay to seek distraction from time to time. Uh, there's a time and a place for, you know, being involved in issues and current events. And then it's it's okay to unwind after. And it's okay to pick up a video game, even if you feel like you don't deserve the time to yourself or whatever you do. And if it is a path for you to avoid worrying, anxiety, suffering, then you should go for it because that is the key to happiness is to find contentment and to not suffer. <laughs> Reads a one page summary of Buddhism once <laughs> when the Buddhism hits. Anyway, I hope this brought you some ease. Uh, as I said in a recent video, where I asked uh, you guys to like the video if you don't mind, as annoying as it is to say, it, I was saying it helps with the YouTube algorithm. That video's been doing pretty well since I said that, so it would be nice if you, if you just hit a quick like for this video. I'd appreciate it. And hey, I'll see you next time. Willow Davis, out.